I've shared a couple of diets in the past for dogs with liver disease. This one that I'm sharing today is another one that's gonna be a good choice for some dogs with liver disease. Liver disease is very tricky to treat your dog nutritionally. It definitely, nutrition is a key part in treating the disease and you have to take that into account but it's hard to recommend a diet for all dogs with liver disease because there are many different stages and depending on your dog's unique nutritional needs aside from the liver disease and then what stage of liver disease that they're in. He may need higher protein diet, he may need limited protein. All dogs with liver disease should have included in their diet carbs and fats that are really easy to digest. So that needs to be taken into consideration. There are vitamins that need to be included for dogs with liver disease. All dogs, but specifically dogs with liver disease, those um, vitamins help with inflammation and they help with trying to process the nutrition through the liver. So, you know, complex B vitamins, vitamin vitamin A, vitamin K, vitamin C, zinc is a big one to include in a liver disease diet. So it really depends on your dog, what they have going on aside from the liver disease. So size, weight, activity level, those are all factors that need to play a part. And then as I mentioned, the stage of liver disease that your dog is in. So it's really, really crucial that you work with an expert on canine nutrition. Watching videos, reading up about things online, doing your own research and educating yourself is great, but it's really difficult to find any information that's gonna be specific to your pet because of all of these varying factors. So working with an expert can help you to, you know, take like this diet, for example, if you click the link below the video, it'll take you to my written guide. You can print out this recipe, bring it in with you when you consult your vet or your canine nutritionist, and they'll go over the recipe and, you know, you may look at it and say, this is, these are ingredients that are easy to find in my area. It's stuff that I can purchase on my budget. And so I'd really like to use this recipe. And then they'll take it from there and say, okay, this is great, but your dog's gonna need more protein, less protein. We can increase this ingredient, decrease this ingredient. They may give you recommendations on supplements or multivitamins to include. So it's, it's really important that you take this recipe as a guide and then take it to an expert who can evaluate your unique pet's needs and give you some guidance on how to tweak the recipe to perfect it and make it nutritionally balanced for your dog. If you have a young dog, for example, his nutritional needs are gonna change as he grows. If you have a middle-aged dog, those nutritional needs are gonna change as he becomes a senior and kind of progresses into seniorhood. So it's important to work with an expert and not try to kind of figure this out on your own because with liver disease, nutrition is a vital part of that treatment. And so if your dog's not getting enough nutrients or you're getting too many, you can actually cause the liver disease to progress more rapidly than it would if you worked with an expert and really catered meals to your pet's unique needs. All of those things that I listed, the vitamins, the minerals, the protein levels, the fats, the, the um, easy to digest carbs, all of the information on how to feed a dog with liver disease, we've done a really extensive guide on that. I don't have the time in this video to, to go down through every single bit of nutrition that's needed for a dog with liver disease. So if you click the link below the video, it'll take you to that guide as well and you can check that out and see what pieces of nutrition are important, what things to stay away from and why, what things you should be including and why, some whole food ingredients that are really helpful for dogs with liver disease, some ingredients that you should be staying away from. So it's a really extensive, great guide with a ton of information in there. So if you're looking to educate yourself and do your own research, I definitely recommend checking that out. Again, the link is in the description below. This recipe is really easy to make. The bulk of the work is prep work and it takes about 25 minutes to a half an hour to complete all of the prep work. Once the prep is done, all you do is combine your ingredients. So the first thing that I have is one cup of cooked brown rice. So this was about a half a cup of dry rice and I cooked it according to the instructions on the packaging and now we have one cup of cooked brown rice. I also have half a box of elbow macaroni and I've cooked this, again, according to the instructions on the packaging. So it comes out to about four cups of cooked macaroni. I have two hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna add them in here and just sorta chop them up. I have a tablespoon of low fat cottage cheese. And then I have a cup of carrots and a cup of broccoli that I've already chopped. I chop those according to the size of my dogs. They're bigger dogs, so I cut uh, my carrots and broccoli into larger pieces. If you have a small breed teacup, you can you know, obviously cut them 
into pieces appropriately sized for your pet. And then my final ingredient is going to be calcium carbonate. And I'm adding that according to the measurements on the packaging for my dog's size. This recipe is gonna be, I'm gonna feed it to my 75 pound Labrador. So I'm adding uh, the calcium carbonate that it would state for a dog that size on the instructions. Now we're just gonna mix everything really well. Once the recipe has completely cooled, I can feed it to my dogs. If you're looking for serving size guidelines or nutritional information, just click the link below. It'll take you to my written guide and you're able to print the recipe off there to show it to your vet or your canine nutritionist. Um, it has all of the nutrition information that they should need listed out there as far as calorie content, fat, protein, all of that stuff. And then it also has my recommended serving size guidelines. So if you have any other questions, reach out to us in email, uh, but be sure to click the link below the video for all of that information.